Hi, this is Dr. Armstrong Mensa. In this video, I'll be answering your questions related to chronic and infectious diseases. As usual, very interesting and good questions. So let's take these questions individually. So question one says, how have developed countries succeeded in reducing their rate of infectious disease transmission? Why have developing countries failed? Well, developed countries have succeeded because they have promoted infection or are promoting um, vaccination against infectious diseases. They implement good hygiene practices. They've made safe water and sanitation available to their people. And again, they're generally more interested in, in the health and well-being of their population. And unfortunately, this cannot be said of developing countries. Number two, apart from risk factors for chronic diseases mentioned in the video, stress and sleep disturbances are said to be risk factors for chronic diseases as well. How do these factors lead to chronic diseases like diabetes? Well, stress causes hormones like cortisol levels in the body to rise. And as it rises, one's appetite increases. You feel like eating more. And once you feel like eating, of course, you will satisfy those cravings and you will eat. And if you don't take care, you will put on weight. And once you become um, overweight or you become obese, you predispose yourself to chronic diseases like diabetes and cardiovascular diseases. Number three, can't HIV be grouped as both chronic and infectious diseases because it lasts for a lifetime and it transmits from one person to another? Of course it can. Question number four, what are the symptoms of hepatitis B and how early can it be treated? Some symptoms of hepatitis B include jaundice, which is like yellowing of the skin, uh, fatigue, fever, nausea, and vomiting. And now, as soon as one realizes they've been predisposed, or sorry, they've been exposed to um, uh, um, hepatitis B, they can seek treatment. Question number five, the video said chronic diseases affect women and men almost equally, but are there specific chronic diseases that are more prone to affect women more than men? Well, lupus, an autoimmune disease that damages the skin, multiple sclerosis, um, a condition that affects the central nervous system, and irritable bowel syndrome, which is a condition that affects the large intestines, are chronic conditions that are predominantly present in women than in men. Question number six, what age groups are more prone to chronic diseases? I would say primarily um, older adults, but then again, it's not uncommon to find that younger adults also um, experience chronic conditions, and in this case, diabetes. What causes diseases like diabetes to become long-term? Can it be reversed? Well, diabetes is a long-term condition because there's no cure for it, and so it's got to be managed across the lifespan. And um, studies have shown that if it's ever been reversed, it's because people have you know, eaten healthy, have exercised, and for the most part, have lost weight. Well, that's all for my responses to your chronic and infectious disease questions. Thank you.